Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic. I think this is officially episode 30, and do I have something cool to show you? Oh, almost saw the shadow there. I don't know why I keep hiding the reveal, because you guys already know from the thumbnail, but this is something I wanted to do for a while. After my buddy, Mr. Blitzkrieg, Zer made a T-Rex, I wanted something that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with his T-Rex, and I think I found it in this. Bam, out fell on me. <laughs> We got our scrap mechanic triceratops. It looks so derpy, so awesome, so mediocre, but I think it's pretty neat. The hardest part was just figuring out the walking mechanics, because I don't know if you guys know, but I am awful at figuring out walking in this game. I have like a mental block when it came for it, but I think we finally got it how we want it. It looks like he has painted toenails. So let's take you on a little tour. We've got the headlight eyes, we've got a... Uh, some horns, just these things are on um, a bearing, so they're probably like 45 degrees. They actually might be too much. I might want to lower them to 30 because they look like they're going out. There's a big fan thing out top. I'm not super happy with it. Uh, I want to make it a little more 3D, maybe in the back, but I think it looks good for now. He has his back legs and his front legs. The tricky thing was I wanted two different sized legs because on the, they have the kind of rear haunches are kind of bigger. And then we have the tail, which actually functions relatively well as a counterweight. But here we can go ahead and hop on top, and hoot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now let's check this out. There is a suspension steering, you probably just heard that. But hey, you can check out the walking mechanism. Seems to work relatively well. It wasn't super nice looking until I got the suspension in. Now he does kind of like lean back and forth, but you know, I, I imagine that's how he would walk in real life. So there we go, and we have the seat up there. And then this part, which I think is pretty funny. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Nom. 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 <laughs> he's a hungry little uh, stegosaurus. Not stegosaurus, he's a triceratops. So there we can do all three. And now we got the walking, hungry triceratops. And I should be able to, well, let's, let's see, once we get on the flat land, he can turn ever so slightly. I may actually try... <laughs> <laughs> He's digging his face in a little bit. Oh, you can see the tail. So the tail doesn't have any bearings. It's kind of messed up now because he's not walking normally. But hey, once he starts to walk normally, you can see that the tail actually functions as a counterbalance pretty well. I just have a row of bearings on each different joint, basically under those orange things. But here, I'll try and turn us right. Very slow turns. I'm using the suspension steering, and I'm thinking... Um... If I use the longer suspension, because right now we're using the short suspension, but I think if I use the longer one, we may be able to get a better turn radius. I'm not 100% sure on that, but yeah, check it out. I mean, I think it's pretty decent for my first actual walker and scrap mechanic. I think it's pretty decent. I made a, actually a video before this trying to figure out the walking, and I actually like rendered and everything, but I decided it was kind of crappy, so I didn't upload it. It was supposed to be like scrap mechanic 25 or something. Uh, but I'm glad I didn't, because this looks way better. Looks a little funky with the orange. Like, on the legs, I would have liked it if we could have a slant that was uh, concrete colored. Just because I think it would look a little nicer. Ooh, let's turn left over here and go into this little cornfield. But I mean, like, he can pretty much walk on his own. <laughs> we don't even need to be in it. <laughs> so imagine you're just walking around, you're like, you're, uh... Prehistoric man, even though I know they did not exist at the same time. Dinosaurs, I'm not a younger creationist or any of the nonsense. It's just a fun crawling through the, these wheat fields. And you see, oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna eat me. I want to actually see what happens if he walks into him. Yeah, so it'll just like push you. Oh no, I got eaten. <laughs> but there you go, you go. We can give you a better view of all the controls and stuff. Uh, open it up to... Yeah, so those are the bearings back there. They're just loose, not connected. I was actually trying to get it connected to a controller back here, where it would um, tell these to wave in a certain way to time, so the timing would coincide with the the movement. But I don't really think we need to. Oh, we're about to hit a bush. Let's go right. There we go. I mean, these things wouldn't have been like moving that quick, uh, that quick uh, in real life. Actually, they probably would have been a lot faster than this. But <laughs> oh well. Let's turn that off. Turn the mouth off. Uh, let's see, can we go inside? Nope, it just pops me back out. Okay. So let's open that bad boy up. And so there we have the suspension steering right there. 
Uh, right here we have the thing that flips this, and I can't seem to get rid of the gap, because unfortunately this is even numbered, and you're rotating on a single bearing, uh, so the gap's going to be there regardless of what we do, but I I'm okay with it. <laughs> I've come to uh, respect it. And then this, this one is for the mouth, so it just opens up plus 30, minus 30. Uh, this one's for the horns, which I actually do want to turn down a little bit. Maybe we'll do like 20 degrees. Stop it. 20. And 20, there you go. And then this one's for the walking. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they're basically just uh, rotating on their axis, 180, minus 180, plus 180. Um, I'll show you a neat little example. That's uh, pretty easy to visualize. So we got that, that. Uh, you could even do this with the wheel. That's what I was doing it with originally. Then I changed my mind. Controller. Switch. Pick those up. Go there. That's you do them too wide. Why not? And then we go up. So there are a lot more complicated ways to make walkers, but this is the way I like the most. And so we're going to have the foot back here. And connect that up. So the first one's going to go positive 180. So when we flip it, it'll go like that. But the trick is you want to make the second one do the opposite of whatever that angle is. So there you go. See how it stays face down, so basically it'll be a leg, and then we could uh, put on a loop. And then just interrupt the stages with the other legs, and you've got a l walking mechanism, a leg mechanism. Let's see, I kind of want to take this dude on the top of the mountain. Wow, th where are we? <laughs> I think the rest of the map's that way. Just can't really see right now. They definitely added some new areas to these maps, because I do not recognize a lot of these when I've been exploring. Because I explored the map, like the earlier maps, a lot more on uh, the first couple saves. But these ones are basically just some spawning in, doing a build. But yeah, I don't recognize those gorges. I kind of want to take him off a mountain and see, see what will happen there. Just watch him tumble down. Okay, well on my way up, I thought of a better idea. Because something people always seem to want. Stra strap rockets to it and see... How it'll work. Okay, uh, let me actually test those rear ones. Okay. There we go. And Triceratops airliners or Triceratops jet. Tricerat jet? I don't know, something like that. Ready for liftoff. Three, two, one. Alright, pretty steady. And four thrusters. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna end well. Oh, smack. Oh, right into the mountain we go. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's actually achieve a little bit more height before we uh, try and fly it. Ooh, we do actually have the suspension already installed, so it may actually be able to work. Let's see, hopefully we just don't hit any of these trees on the way up. Don't hit them! I said don't hit them! Ah! Okay, let's try this once again. Up we go. Get a little bit of height. <laughs> it's so ridiculous looking. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be this weird screenshot. Okay, we should be able to turn it. Yep, and then forward we go. Whee! So left, right. <laughs> Wait. This thing is ridiculous looking. Okay, let's try to straighten out. Nope. Okay, let's turn this off. See if we can flip around. And engage those. No! No! Turn this off. No! Oh, and stick the landing, stick the landing. <laughs> and stuck the landing. Oh, this thing's ridiculous. Ah! No, not the tail! <laughs> okay. Well, that's probably for this episode, guys. Uh, it'd be cool if I could make like the rockets like pop out or something. Let's see if we make his mouth open. Oh, the rockets are on it. 
Ah! Oh, oh, there we go. All right, let's 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 give him a proper exit. Let's leave those poor rockets that don't really seem to do anything. I don't know. It was fun to do. Ah, stupid lift. No, come back. Darn it. There we go. So, thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Leave a like if you did enjoy and want to see more in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.